Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Moret Sports Complex here on the campus of Lenore Ryan University in the lovely Hickory, North Carolina. I'm Danny Nicosia, along with my partner, Jacob Parkinson, here to bring you tonight's South Atlantic Conference men's and women's soccer doubleheader. Tonight, the Lenore Ryan Bears take on the Lincoln Memorial Rail Splitters. <clears throat> the Bears come into into tonight's matchup 5-1 and 2 overall and are 3 and 1 in the sack with wins over Limestone, Coker and Anderson. And Lincoln Memorial comes into tonight's matchup 6-0 oh, and 1 and they are 4 and 0 oh, in the conference with wins over Tusculum, Coker, Newberry and Mars Hill. The Rail Splitters also sit atop the conference while the Bears are tied for third with Catawba. Now let's beat the starting lineups. First for the visitors from We're going to kick it over to Jeremy Zalaka real quick for starting lineups. Number seven, Mimi Nikens. Number nine, Jessica Rivera. Number 13, Corrine Denton. Number 14, Gracelia Palencia. Number 16, Rachel Taylor. Number 19, Mariana Diaz. Number 24, Sydney Wolfenbarger. Number 26, Margaret Anderson. Number 27, Megan Snyder. And in goal, number one, Benta Latenstein. Lincoln Memorial is coached by Tasha Flynn. And now the starting lineup for your Lenore Ryan Bears. Number four, Vivian Becker Peralta. Number five, Rhea Acton. Number seven, Stephanie Figueroa. Number 10, Nev Dustin. Number 16, Amanda McFarlane. Number 22, Luis Berg. Number 25, Maddie Kyle. Number 29, Kara Gavigan. Number 30, Leone Proeso. Number 33, Evan O'Leary. And in goal for the Bears, number one, Grayson Cameron. Little Ryan is coached by Gary Higgins. He is assisted by Kerry Maxwell and Carlos Rubio. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remove your hats for the playing of our national anthem. And there you have the starting lineups and the national anthem. <clears throat> Real quick rundown of the all-time matchup between Lincoln Memorial and the Bears. The Bears have uh, the Bears are 11 and 9 all-time versus the Rail Splitters, with a win over Lincoln Memorial in the spring, five to three. Uh, Jacob, what are you looking for from this game? Big one for the Bears. They're playing the first team. First place team in the sack. Yeah, and the Bears are joint third in the sack at the minute. That's correct. Yeah, so it'll be an exciting game. We've got two 
good teams. Uh, they both played well already this. Well, I don't know if you call it season, but in America, <laughs> they both played well already uh, in the last few games. So it'll be an exciting game. Um, hopefully end to end. Hopefully not too defensive. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it starts. I think the first half will be a good indicator. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, the Bears have really struggled to put the ball in the back of the net this year. So I think if they can do that quickly and then get a couple on the board, they'll be in good shape. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes an early goal from from either side can do that. Um, whether it be for or against you, can open up the game. And we're off here <coughs> at the Moret Sports Complex. The Lincoln Memorial in blue and white stripes. And Lenore Rhine in white kits with red numbers. It looks like the Bears are playing four at the back, three in the middle, and then three up front. Um, from from up here, I could be wrong, but I think that's the formation they're going with today. Looks, yeah, it looks a little bit different than normal. Mm. I know Coach Gary likes to play with those three in the middle, um, three center mids in the middle. It's a great ball there to Kara Gavigan by Stephanie Figueredo. Unlucky turnover there. Lincoln Memorial will work it around the back line. Bears want a free kick now, but the ref, ref plays on. Lincoln Memorial go up to attack. React and we'll see that one out of bounds for a Bears throw in. There's some good players for the Bears. Every time I've I've uh, I've watched, I've always noticed number 29, Kara Gavigan. She uh, has a lot of skill and a lot of pace. Absolutely, one of the fastest girls on the yeah, teams for sure. Very fast. Very also fast. on the track and field team for the Bears. Lincoln Memorial's really got some height. Looking out there, uh, I'm not sure if it's the angle that we're at, but they they look really tall. 
So that could definitely come into play, going for those 50-50 balls in the middle of the field. Yep. I think the Bears will probably want to keep it closer to the ground today, um, being the smaller team. Won't want to have too many crosses in the box against them, too many corners, too many free kicks against them, because um, obviously they're, they're lacking in the height department. Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, though, when the, when the Bears can move the ball quickly on the ground, that's when they play their best soccer. So hopefully they can connect on some passes today and and get get it going. Yeah, I think they like using them them players out wide as well, um, and and using their pace. Definitely, we got O'Leary and Gavigan out there on each side. Gavigan on the near side, O'Leary on the far side. Both very skilled players. Like we said, Kara Gavigan's extremely fast. And O'Leary great with the ball at her foot. Quite a few goals so far this season as well. Yeah, really been awesome for the Bears. Her and fellow freshman Leone Proessel. I think it might have been the last home game for the Bears. I was watching. Um, they they just went down out wide and then cut it back. Um, I think we got the, the Bears got two two goals from just doing that. Yeah, I mean that's where a lot of their opportunities come from. Just sending the ball down the sideline, cutting it back on the touchline, and and sending it across the middle to oncoming runners. Be interesting to see if. Um, the Inca Memorial have, have, have watched videos and um, we'll try and stop them from doing that today. Yeah, it'll definitely be interesting to see and <clears throat> something I'd really like to see from Lenore Ryan is using those three midfielders, yeah. right? They play with that triangle in the middle of Nev Dustin, Amanda McFarlane, and Steph Figueredo. Um, can you use them to switch the point of attack and quickly move the ball up and down the field? Um, you have... Mac and, and Nev sitting sitting back a little bit in that defensive mid position and Steph pushing up just a little bit. So hopefully they can use those three to, to move that ball across the field a little bit more. There's Vivian Becker with the ball. That's good strength. Absolutely. Just a freshman too. Been instrumental for the Bears back line. The Bears do like their Spanish players. On the men's team, it's, it's full of Spanish players. Oh, yeah. Nice little ball there by Grayson Cameron. Good touch by Maddie Kyle. Just a little too strong off the foot. But Becker there to pick it back up. She tries to send Paresel up. But Megan Snyder is there to, to stop her. That's great pressure there by O'Leary to force the turnover into a quick into a quick throw in and a great shot there by Leone. And that's what we need to see from the Bears as well, just quick pressure, quick throw, and um try and catch him on the back foot. Absolutely. I think if we can capitalize on turnovers and then like you said, play quickly, um, off stoppage, we'll find ourselves in a really good spot. Exactly. I think with the Bears, sometimes you can you watch them and they'll have all the possession, but end up not doing anything with it. Yeah, absolutely. Or they'll have a bunch of shots, but yeah, can't find the back of the net. Little one two there between Dustin and Acton. But the Rail Splitters, they've they've played very well this season. Um, like we said, they're four and in conference, six oh and one overall. Um And the Bears win a corner. And again, they'll they'll go in down that right that right wing again. I think they'll be doing that all night. She's um 
she's definitely got the speed. She's definitely got the skill against against most of the fullbacks. Absolutely. Kara Gavigan's one of those girls that you can game plan for all you want, but at the end of the day, she's most likely going to just run right by you. Now this will be interesting. Now we'll talk about the height difference. We'll see if the uh, if the Bears can, can manage to get their head on one. And you could see the rail splitters just kind of sitting inside the six there as yep. the Bears came running in and nothing to come of, of the... Uh, corner kick. It wasn't great defensively from the rail spitters. They The ball ran through and they were just lucky that it was a, a bad connection in the end. Yeah, absolutely. I do like how, even though I can't read the number on the front of the rail splitters jerseys, the back is clear. It's as clear as day and that's wonderful. Yep. Most of the time you see stripes front and back and you can't read the numbers at all, so... Thank you to whoever designed those. You've made our jobs much easier. We need to get them in contact with the person who makes the, uh, makes the men's bears because <laughs> I cannot read them. No, I can't read those either. And Benta Lattenstein will scoop that one up for the rail splitters and look to push her team forward. The Bears have another uh, big game coming up. Is it next Wednesday? Yep. On Wednesday, they'll take on Catawba, who they are actually tied for third with in the conference yep. right now. <coughs> That's always a big battle for them. It'll be an exciting game. Definitely. We beat them in overtime last year to go to, in the spring season, to go to the SAC championship. Overtime thriller, I believe Kara Gavigan put that one in the back of the net. So two tough games, really, in the space of, of only a few days. Yeah. So they need they need to to get the win today to get that morale up to hopefully push them over the line on a uh, on Wednesday. Definitely nice to have them both here in Hickory too. Yeah. I believe that's Rachel Taylor on the ball, um, who's one of the rail splitters' leaders here. She's third in scoring and second in assists in the conference, and she's going to force a, a Lincoln Memorial corner here. Back out to Taylor on the far side. She's going to slide this one across, but nice easy pickup for Grayson Cameron right inside the six. And you'll hear Coach Gary Higgins tell her, come on, Grayson, let's get this ball up. Let's not wait for them to get set, and let's see if we can catch them on their heels. Exactly. That's one of the best things to do in, in soccer is try and get the... Try and get the other team on the counter attack. Absolutely. When they're, when they're up on your end of the pitch, try and get it as quickly to the other end as possible. Um, and you've got to take a risk sometimes and throw some of your players up there and, and just hope to put it in the back of the net. Definitely. And that was a great ball in by Rachel Taylor. Really dangerous for the rail splitters, but Maddie Kyle comes in and just pops that one right out. And we'll have a throw in on the far side. That was great. very well played yeah. by the Bears. Yeah, great flick by Stephanie Figueredo to start the Bears counter. Let's see if O'Leary can catch up here. <coughs> Dealt with that pressure really well. Lincoln Memorial. You're saying? Dealt with the, the pressure the, well? The Bears, the, I thought they dealt with the pressure from Lincoln Memorial very well. Yeah. I think um, the Rail Splitters are getting a bit more into the game now. 
the it took them a minutes, minute. It was the the Bears, yeah. Yeah, it took them a minute to kind of get their feet under them. But they're starting to possess the ball a little bit more and move it around the Bears. Yeah. And let's see what Gabigan can do with the ball here on the near side. Double teamed. Stripped away there. Then Mimi Nijins just kind of slots that one right out of bounds and it'll be a Bears throw in. Well done there by Nev. Just play the way you're facing. Kind of reset and work it around your back line and let's see if we can move the defenders and get to the other side of the field. <coughs> The Bears are just going to let Lincoln Memorial, you know, pass it around their back line. Not too much pressure. Pressel will cut off that back pass, but you saw Kara Gavigan just kind of sat back as they got into that. Don't need to waste your energy pressuring uh, too high yet. No, no, especially this early in the game, like you say. It's got a whole, almost, well, got over an hour left to play. Right. It's a nice ball there by Nijins, but just can't find her teammate on the other end. Russell there with an unfortunate touch, but no one even up there around her to kind of lay the ball off to, so it just turns into a rail splitter turnover. Excuse me, a Bears turnover. It was a great yeah, was save a great there. Save, yeah. It'll give you a quick replay brought, brought to you by Spengler Restoration of that. Grayson Cameron, fantastic save. Tipped right over the top of the net. And it was a it was a nice shot from Mimi Nijins. But she just needed to get it a bit more either side of the keeper. It was a bit it's a bit too central. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to say it was easy for Grayson to make that save, but with it being right at her, it gave her a better chance of getting yeah. a hand on it and popping it over. But she was pretty like far out, so for yeah. her to be able to be outstretched like that and tip it over the net without tipping it back into the goal. Very talented. Great flick. Just a clear there by Lattenstein. See if the rail splitters can counter here. That's a great switch there by Jessica Cravero. Maria Acton, the silent assassin, is there to take it back. I think it's one of these games that both teams obviously want to win, but I think if you ask the too windy at all, the sun's not in the keeper's eyes, so there should be no excuses for the weather today. No, definitely not. You can see the shadows start to cast over the field, and it'll be covered here by probably late in the second half, end of the end of the game, before the men take the field. Well done there by Rhea Acton. Ooh. I'm sure. Oh, I'm surprised that Rhea's not taking this one. Snev Destin over the ball. They've sent Vivian up from centre back. 
I think she she must be the biggest, the the tallest girl for the No Bears. doubt, no doubt. I'd send her up every time too, yeah. especially against this this tall Lincoln Memorial team. Great job by Grayson Cameron to come out, cut the angle down. I believe that's Rachel Taylor on that far side, number 16. Yep. I'm reading that correctly on the jersey, but Cameron, great job coming out, getting low, cutting that angle off. and It all just came from that original throw from um, Jessica Caravero that just came off the Bears defender and and uh, played through Lincoln Memorial. But yeah, it was a good ball. Yeah, it was in the end. It wasn't intentional, no, but no, it was, it was a good ball. <laughs> good footwork there by Maddie Kyle. Love to see her get a switch over to O'Leary. Dustin will keep this one and fire a shot. Ooh. Ooh. And that will skim right over the top of the goal. I guess I spoke too soon about... Her continuing that switch, that was a great rip yeah. on goal. And when when the when the players get get on the ball and travel with it a bit and get their heads up, it's, it's much more interesting than just watching them receive it and then pass it off straight away. Definitely, definitely. And I'd love to see the Bears take some more quick shots like that from yep. outside the box, kind of catch the goalkeeper off guard. We've had a few from both teams in this last five minutes. We've had a, a few from... Um, Oh, uh, off touch there by Luis Berg, but the rail splitters can't run that one down. I couldn't tell if that was 16 or 19 who's taking the corner for the rail splitters. Well done by Grayson. I think it was 16, Rachel Taylor. And the Bears go down the right again. <laughs> Mimi Nigens will get called for the foul on Kara Gavigan. The Bears will take the short pass, get the switch up to Evan O'Leary. It was quite a clever foul from um, Nigens. She's just stopping that, stopping that attack from happening before it Absolutely. before it could materialise. Sometimes it's worth it to foul in those situations. Yeah, exactly. And she's not got a yellow for it, so right, it, it was worth it. That one just a little bit over reacting. Oh, and a beautiful tackle. Stop the flow of play. Rail splitters will get a throw in. Oh, wow. Ooh. And that, that should have been put in the back of the net, Absolutely. really. Absolutely. Absolutely. The Bears got very, very lucky with that. Rachel Taylor in a fantastic spot there to put that one by Grayson Cameron, but Grayson did a good job again coming over, cutting off that angle. It was the same again, though, from the from the rail splitters. They go down the right-hand side, put a high cross in the box, um, which they've done a few times already this half. That's dangerous. They're going to be dangerous in the box with their height. Yep. But, yeah, the Bears very, very lucky to uh, to not be one down now. Yeah. Even two. Yeah. Good job there by O'Leary working back to receive that ball.
And you can hear teammate Ali Zuger calling out to the Bears from the sidelines today as she's unable to play due to a red card in their last game. Ooh. Great ball by Proesso. O'Leary just can't get it in front of that defender to get a touch, but that was dangerous. Yeah, and she put, it, she put the ball into a dangerous area and just, just hoping that someone gets on the end of one of them. Yeah. All, it, all it takes is, is a tap. Doesn't need any power, just needs the, that direction. And, and it makes it tough for the keeper. Great pick up there by Dustin. See if she can hang on to it. Very good strength by Nev Dustin there. Absolutely. See what O'Leary can do on the far side. Good decision there. Hold it, spin around, find Rhea Acton with the overlap pass, and she's going to sneak right down the sideline, touch line, excuse me, and force a Bears corner kick. Nev Dustin's ease. She's another one who I... I notice every time she's sort of controls that midfield absolutely Gary Higgins speaks very highly of her and something he's mentioned to us a few times is how much they want to work through her in the middle especially yep. in that defensive mid position um, she's she's strong there and she can hold on to the ball and she's so also good going forwards as well we saw that shot from her earlier that was that was just over the bar absolutely very uh, good ball That was a great ball by Amanda McFarlane over to Evan O'Leary. O'Leary getting a good head on it, but Lattenstein is there just to scoop that one up. That was brilliant by McFarlane. She just got her head up and picked out the pass. Didn't take too long. Mm -mm. And that's where the Bears become dangerous, when they pick their head up and they release the ball quickly and they move it around the field. Oh, O'Leary wide open on the far side. It's beautiful. Would have loved to lead her a little bit more, but see what Dustin can do here. Oh. Great ball by Gavigan. You could caught Lattenstein coming towards that near post, but O'Leary's run just a little delayed. Would have liked to see her a little tighter to that back post. Yeah, if Lincoln Memorial don't start putting some more pressure on, on, on the Bears in that right in that right wing position, their left back position, one of them balls is going to connect for the Bears, soon five, enough. Emerson Talley comes in for the Bears for Amanda McFarlane. Russell is doing a great job cutting off that back pass, making her making the rail splitters play into the middle of the field where they have Figueredo, Tally, and Dustin right now. Just looking to scoop those balls up. Good pressure by Corey Denton there from, from the rail splitters. Tally's first few touches of the game. A little bit of ping pong going on in the middle of the field. And we'll see if he gets thrown out to Maddie Carl again. No. Close offside call. Yeah. I think she just missed that yep. step coming back on sides. Mm. 
Well done there by Dustin just to keep the rail splitters in the corner, even though it forced a corner. Looks like Rachel Taylor will go over to take it for the for the rail splitters. The Bears have dealt with these corners really well so far. I think there's been about three or four, and the rail splitters haven't haven't got their head to it first yet. Absolutely, and Vivian Becker does a good job just clearing that one out. Yep. Eliminate the cluster in the box and kind of reset. Mariana Diaz over there for the LMU throw-in. Good possession by by the Rail Splitters at the minute. The Bears can't really get a touch of the ball. And Grace Gracilla Palencia fires one at net, just a little bit too high. As you said, you know, that was a really good possession by the Rail Splitters, just moving the ball around and kind of having their way with the Bears. It's like I was saying earlier though, it's it's all well and good having that possession, but then I guess if you're if it's ending up like that, it um, doesn't, doesn't account for anything. Yeah, absolutely. And I've said this in past games, but Evan O'Leary is wide open on that left side. Yeah. And I get Kara Gavigan is one of your fastest players, but O'Leary's dangerous right there. There you she see. is. Yeah. <laughs> Point proven right there. Strips, strips Merle Hooling and... Gets a nice strike on goal. Well, I guess over the goal, but she's dangerous. And if they can get that early switch to her as the defender pulls across the field, they're going to find some success there. I feel, I, it seems like both coaches, or maybe it's just coincidence, but it seems like both coaches have, have sort of told their teams to go down the right-hand side mm -hmm. because all the, t all the chances seem to be coming down from the right-hand side for both teams. Oh, you're not wrong about that. definitely seems that way. I mean, with the rail splitters, they seem to be putting that that long ball over the top, down the right wing, and, and just seeing if seeing if they can get to it. The Bears go down the left now. <laughs> right. Oh, and another great shot by O'Leary. React and winning the possession, finding O'Leary on the on the far side, and another good shot. Just can't get over it enough to to bring it down. Valencia there with it in the middle. Well done by her, keeping possession. Yep. Nev Dustin tried to dispossess it, but not ah. quite. Nope, as did Emerson Talley, and she just held on to it. See what Corvero can do here. Ooh. Great footwork. Holds on to it. Oh, and a play on. Yeah. That's I have to agree with the ref. They're both players down, but I think that was that was clean. Or they got they nicked each other. Obviously unintentional. It looks like Vivian was holding her ankle and I can't tell what the problem is.
Rivera gets up, yep. running off the field, but Becker's still down a little bit. One of our, our associate athletic trainer, Katrina DeVore, comes out onto the field, as does Coach Gary Higgins. See what's happening here. Oh, this would be a huge loss for the Bears. Massive loss in height and in power and yep. skill. Just dominance in, in general on that back line. And she does look in, in a lot of pain. Yeah. Thankfully, Cavero was able to, to get up and, and run it off. Absolutely, and Becker gets up and you can hear the crowd cheer her off the field. Yeah, I think she's done for today. Real unfortunate for the Bears. I'm interested to see who he has come in for her. I think it is her ankle, just from the way she's limping off. Mm -hmm. Freshman Kate Casey coming in for Becker. Another freshman, which is awesome for the Bears. Well, on this sheet of paper, it actually says that she's, she's taller than Vivian. Really? Yeah, she's 5'9", and Vivian's 5'8", according to this. I don't know. I think Vivian is at least six foot. Yeah. It's a big loss for the Bears, but I'm sure Casey will step right in and take control of that back line. Hopefully it's nothing too serious and she can, she'll, she'll be back for Wednesday. Absolutely. Throw some ice on it, take some ibuprofen, and call it a day. Exactly. Well, the facilities they have now as well to the, the athletic trainers and stuff. Absolutely. Mm. Normally gets off the scene too pretty, pretty soon. Good tackle fixed. there by Tally. And Casey will get her first few touches of the game. Find Nev Dustin in the middle, who does a great job holding on. Lays it off to Figueredo. And now Berg will look to switch it around the back line. Casey's not being tried to, to get on the ball since she's um, come, on the, come on the pitch. Sometimes there's a sub, it will take you a few few minutes to just warm up into the game. But mm -hmm. And she was thrown on too. It's exactly, not like yeah. she was preparing to go into the game. Great touch there by Rhea Acton. Taking that ball out of the air. O'Leary now on the far side. Doing a little dance. Cuts it back to the touch line and just Right to Lattenstein. Nice easy pickup for her. Into the last ten minutes now of the first half. And I would say so far the first uh, the best effort really, the the most likely attempt to score was um for Lincoln Memorial earlier of that that cross. Mm-hmm. We we should have been tapped in. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, but Grayson Cameron is a rock back there. Again, I don't think I don't think either of the coaches will be too despondent at the minute, especially the Bears. I think I think they would take a draw from this game if they if they really had to. Obviously, they'll they'll be wanting to win. They're not coming out here to draw. Right. But I think that they, they won't be too loss. disappointed. Yeah. Mm, acting lucky there, she didn't call for the handball. Dustin doing a really w w good job controlling the middle of the pitch today. Yeah. Keeping the ball at her foot and just battling through those tackles from Lincoln Memorial. And Kyle got a little cheer there for putting the putting the ball through the opposition's legs. Mm -hmm. 
A little nutmeg. Scarlett Kelly will come in for Leone Paresel up top. <coughs> Scarlett just brings a different level to the game. She's aggressive. She wants to win the ball, and she's already asking for it at her foot. And they give it right to her. And you find her on the ground. Well, she's, she's won it back, and she made a good pass. She did. Scarlett's one of those players, she's always around the foul, but she can draw a foul like no other. Yeah. It is it is an amazing skill, honestly. It impresses me every time, some of the some of the calls she gets. Oh, exactly. If you wanted to win a free kick in, in the last few minutes as well, ideal player to bring on. Oh, for sure. For sure. Emily Rodriguez has checked in for the rail splitters. You can see her chasing Louise Berg here, but really putting some pressure on Kate Casey and Maddie Kyle up top. I think about three or four rail splitters subbed in. Looking to bring some life to Lincoln Memorial's offense here in the final seven minutes. Well won by Nev. They're going to call, yeah, over here, offsides. Yeah. It's unfortunate. That was very unfortunate because I think she was just about to put the ball into the box. And and it was a great win by, by Nev in the middle. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Hate to see those plays almost go to waste, but that's the game. I think that's what, what Gary Higgins wants from her, though. She Just win the ball in the middle of the field and, and quickly just re release it. Mm-hmm. And she's done a great job of that today. Probably the best I've seen her do it all season. Good quick release there by Figueredo. Right into Kelly. O'Leary's seen a lot more of the ball this last 20 minutes. so Which is nice. Yeah. Share the love. Oh, Ooh. that was cheeky. Good win there by Luis Berg. Bears will look to switch the ball quickly around the back line. Oh, great ball by Maddie Kyle. Is O'Leary on the Schnee. ball? Yep. Long shot. And she's tried a few of them, O'Leary. Mm hmm. Just a little too high. Yep. Rail splitters will go short pass out of the back. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. That was <laughs> that was definitely a free kick. Mm -hmm. I don't, she definitely did not mean to trip her, but no. just kind of got caught up on the on the cleats. Another great stop by Acton. Work the ball. Great work. Good cover there by Stephanie Figueredo. She stepped back into Acton's spot till she can till she can get back. Great header one in the in the air. I think the rail splitters will just want to get on the ball now. They'll just want to have possession for a few minutes because they've been on the back foot for the last five, ten minutes now. The Bears having a good spell. Absolutely. Love to see them put one in the back of the net with the possession that they've had. See what Nev Dustin's got here for us. Oh, that's a free kick in a very, very dangerous area now. Absolutely. And this is the Nev Dustin I love to see play. Like I said, this is probably the best game I've seen her play all year. And Yeah. She can pick it up and, and just travel with the ball. Mm-hmm. Just great with the ball at her foot, really being aggressive and not letting anyone push her off. I mean, this is perfect shooting distance, really. It's not too close, not too far. Mm -mm. And it's reacting, so this is her her forte. <laughs> 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 
couldn't have drawn it up any better. A very, very good free kick. You can see here on our Spang Spangler restoration replay, right over the wall, takes a nice little bounce and right into that right post. Just sort of curves it round. Mm-hmm. Well really done by React and that's a massive boost for the Bears going into that, coming out of that first half, going into the second half. Huge absolutely, boost. absolutely great. Great timing for a goal with three and a half yep. left in the first half. Like you said, will really bring some energy. That's going to change both uh, both coaches' half-time talks now. Definitely. Definitely. They were definitely some getting ready for a 0-0 a zero -zero halftime yep. talk. Looks like the Bears are going to use the long throw this time. Oh, yeah. A Stephanie Figueredo specialty. She was in our office yesterday talking about how all the photos we have of her are of her either throwing the ball in or heading <laughs> the ball. She's like, I play special teams for our soccer team. Hopefully she gets some, uh, some decent footage to use today then. Hopefully. Hooling in for the free kick. Rachel it's Taylor. Too much on it. Yeah, Rachel Taylor can't run that one down. Grayson Cameron does a good job kind of shielding her and letting the ball go out of bounds. We're under a minute here in the first half. Bears up one nothing over the rail splitters. Louisburg moving it across the back line. Great ball by Kate Casey. Unfortunately, Scarlett Kelly can't find that one. This is good pressure from the Bears. Great pressure. Surrounded. I think Kimura got out of that well, though, actually. They did. And that was a great ball. Great, great ball by the rail splitters. I think that was to Lexi Bearden on the far side. Grayson Cameron was able to come out and clear that at the corner of the box. And Dustin will just clear that one away as we wrap up the first half. Here at Moret Sports Complex, Bears up one nothing over Lincoln Memorial. We'll come back shortly with first half takes here on the Bears Sports Network, presented by NBA Roofing.
knew that there was an opportunity to have my college paid for if I was good enough to play baseball at that level. That was going to make a big difference in my family. D2 baseball gave me an opportunity to play at a high level and to get an education that's going to be valuable for me throughout the rest of my life. I chose to take my experience of being a student athlete and pursue that within my career and to get a master's degree. If I wouldn't have had a baseball scholarship, there'd be no chance that I'm doing what I'm doing today. Emergencies don't wait. Get to the hospital. Accidents happen. Get well soon. When it hurts to move forward, tackle your pain. Don't make your health wait. See your doctor. Your health means everything. In NCAA Division II, community engagement is an initiative at all 25 national championships because student-athletes want to give back while competing for a national title. Over the course of the year, Division II student-athletes have an opportunity to leave a lasting impression in local communities throughout the country. Whether Division II student-athletes are volunteering at hospitals, schools, after-school care programs, foster homes, or retirement villages, they make a difference in the lives of others. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours. Doesn't matter who you are, Everett has you covered. Proud sponsor of the LR Bears. If you play hard, if you use your feet to chase fitness goals, if you stand all day at work, introducing True Energy Infrared Technology Socks. These may be the best socks you ever wear. Our yarn is infused with infrared nanoparticles. Your body's natural heat ignites these tiny particles, producing infrared energy that improves circulation and stimulates cellular recovery. It's not magic, it's rocket science. The perfect sock for your active life, for fitness, performance, recovery, proven innovation to ignite your true energy. Being a champion takes more than talent, more than the perfect pass, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the spirit to always push harder, the ability to overcome any hurdle, and the fire to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's, will you? Celebrate great with Carolina West Wireless. Great new phones and a great customer experience all on our great nationwide high-speed network. Stop by today and get big savings on select Samsung smartphones, like $350 off the Samsung Galaxy S20 and S20 Plus, and $350 off the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra. The great savings continue with four lines of unlimited data for just $35 a month per line. Celebrate great savings and go stay connected wherever your travels take you. Paramount Kia in Hickory. We want to see you driving a new Kia or, hey, a quality pre-owned Kia. We've got a huge selection of new and pre-owned Kias. you got to get to Paramount Kia in Hickory. Highway 70, ParamountKia.com. Being a champion takes more than skill, more than endless drills, more than using your head. Being a champion takes the heart to give it your all, the agility to thrive from any angle, and the relentless drive to be the best. Welcome to Division Two, where the pursuit is yours to create. And the question isn't, can you do it? It's will you.
Welcome back to the Bears Sports Network, presented by NBA Roofing. Again, I'm Danny Nicosia with my partner, Jacob Parkinson. Here in Hickory, North Carolina, right before half, Lenore Ryan takes a 1-0 lead over Lincoln Memorial with just under four minutes to go. Beautiful, beautiful goal by Rhea Acton over the wall into the lower right lower 90 off the free kick right outside the 18. Um, Jacob. I mean, I think the Bears will just want to do a lot of the same this half. Um, defend well. Take, take, the, take the chances. Um, whereas Lincoln Memorial, I think, will have had a completely different team talk. They'll want to go out, create more chances. They can't just rely on on putting a few crosses into the box and, and hoping someone's got on the end of them. Um, I mean, they, d they did make a, a good chance from it from the first half, but they need to work their way into the box from other angles. They've, they've had uh, one good long shot other than that, um, but that ended up being too central, so they're going to have to find other avenues, I think. Yeah, um, definitely two different team talks. I think if Lincoln Memorial can come out, put some pressure on the Bears and take advantage of those opportunities, like you were saying, uh, they're going to be in a really good spot. Exactly, and the, the Bears can defend. The Bears can defend very well. Um, that's not their that's not their downfall. Their downfall sometimes is they can't always put it uh, in the back of the net when they're on top. But they've done that now. They just need to not hold on to it because um, they still need to attack. Still need to to try and put the game to bed. But as long as they're they're doing what they they normally do, I don't see why. They, they can't get over the line. Absolutely. I think if the Bears can find one more security goal and play some defense, they're going to be in a really good spot. Nev Dustin has been so instrumental yeah. in that center three that Coach Gary Higgins has, um, being super aggressive and working that ball through. As you see, she's got the ball now right off the bat, pushing it forward to O'Leary on this near side. And O'Leary came into the game so much more towards the, the, the end of that half. Um, she's a good player. Absolutely, I think the more that they can, uh, the Bears can involve both sides of the field. Um, in Kara Gavigan and Evan O'Leary, they're going to find more success. Yeah. Um, just spreading the ball, spreading the love, and sharing it a little bit more as Rhea Acton lays it off to O'Leary. There, she'll put that one. Oh, oh my! That was <laughs> wow! What, what a, a goal. goal by Evan O'Leary! Wow! Very unintentional. I think she was looking across it there and. Absolutely beautiful. We'll pull that replay up for you here in just a second. But beautiful goal by Evan O'Leary. Just pops it right into the net. What a strike of the ball as well from O'Leary there. I think she was going for the shot for the way the way she lined up to it. And here you go. Here's our Spangler restoration replay. Short corner there. Kind of knocked off the post there. And into the net, and the Bears will take a 2-0 lead over Lincoln Memorial. Th just how we said they need to get that security goal. And exactly. Now they no, don't necessarily need to take their foot off the gas. but uh, They don't need to take as many risks now. They can, they can sort of sit back, rely on their defense. Um, still obviously attack, but there's, there's, no, there's not that, that need anymore to, to throw so many players up. Absolutely. That need to score isn't there as much obviously yep. if you have that opportunity please take advantage of it uh, but now they can kind of just possess and work the ball I mean she's tried a few of them long shots um, today already and that was the technique on that one was, was amazing I, I, I genuinely think she was going for the shot there rather than the cross um, just from the way she lined up to it and only she can tell you that right right but either way it yeah. went in the back of the net and took a funky hit off of that that back post but was definitely helpful she'll definitely be watching that back later oh for sure <laughs> I think we all will <laughs> and Lincoln Memorial now they have no they have no um, they have to sort of go for it Right. Start putting numbers in the box. Start putting even more pressure on that Bears back line. And honestly, the Bears struggle when they are under a lot of pressure. 
or at least they have so far yep. this season. So I think that is somewhere where Lincoln Memorial can kind of step up, put pressure, and uh, maybe make something happen here. Yeah. I mean, the risk that comes with that is they, they open themselves up at the back and then the Bears go up and score another one. But Absolutely. What have they got to lose at this point with two goals down? Right, give and take. What do you need in this particular moment? Yeah. A goal. O'Leary again. Another great ball. She just has yep. that. The gr it's a great loft in vision to the backside of the goal. Just cuts it onto her inside. Because, well, f I think from watching her, she's a right-footed player. So she just cuts it into that, cuts it into the inside, and then mm -hmm. opens it up to either to either cross it in or or take the shot like she did. Right. She kind of has that curve to go towards the goal, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. you really just need to redirect it at that point. Yeah. Whereas Gavigan on the other side, um, I think she's sort of right footed as well, and, but she's obviously she can't cut inside with her with her left as well. Right. So she'll she's there for the crosses really, cutting it back into the cutting it back into the box. Yeah, which is great to have on both sides. You know, gives you a different look. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Maddie Kyle will take the throw in on the, on the far side. She had a very good first half, Maddie Kyle. Absolutely. She's one of my favorite players. She's she's quiet and she's sneaky and she's I love when she takes the ball and goes up the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she was she was good both defensively and and offensively as well. Absolutely. The interchangeability between the outside backs and the outside mids yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Bears team is just, it's great. Because you can slide anyone in and out at any point, and you know you're going to be covered on offense and defense. Exactly. And that, that position is so important as well, because you have got to be good at both. You've got to be able to pick out a good pass. And you've also got to be able to obviously come up against the wingers and, and, and stop them. Absolutely. Lincoln Memorial will work it around here. O'Leary putting in a tackle. Maria Acton here with the counter. Gavigan wide open on that far side. Let's see if O'Leary can find her. She's looking a little short. But Kara able to step in. And see, this is exactly where Maddie Kyle can just go. Yep. Gavigan slides in a little and gives Maddie the space, or vice versa. Maddie can cut in, and, and Kara gives her that space in there. Talking about interchangeability, Stephanie Figueroa just steps right back into Maddie Kyle's spot. Allow her to continue on the attack. Here she comes, special teams. Well done there by Steph. Ah, miscommunication there from O'Leary and Acton. Goes all the way through to uh, to the goalkeeper there. The Bears will be just be happy to slow it down like this. Absolutely. They're Me in no rush. No, no. They're going to play at their own pace and... What will be important for Lincoln Memorial here is to put pressure on the Bears to yeah. play at their pace, which yeah. is going to be more intense and at a, a higher speed. Exactly, yeah. But but at the same <coughs> time, they've got to keep a cool head because if you, if they're just panicking, stuff like that happens. Where they, they're just not they're ma not making good passes. There. And you could hear the frustration from exactly. from this Lincoln Memorial defender can't quite tell her number Mariana Diaz just very frustrated with herself and the pass let's see what 
Emerson Talley can do here. Good footwork. There wasn't any real pressure on her. She could have picked her head up and, and found a pass. Mm -hmm. oh, great cross by Maddie Kyle, but Lattenstein comes in. Snags that one out of the air before Scarlett Kelly can get ahead on it. It's a good touch. Just unlucky that by her there. Yeah. The rail splitters look uncomfortable right now. They're just yeah, definitely. They're they're panicking. Mm -hmm. They're definitely panicking. Their their passing was a lot better in the first half. When um, I will, oh, I'm not going to say when the pressure was off, but when they were when they were level, mm -hmm. the um, a lot cooler heads and their passing was a lot more accurate. Let's see if Cravera can get something going here. And that wasn't a bad ball. Not at all. A very very good challenge there though. From um, Rear Acton. We have player down here. From that tackle from a. Uh, from Acton, Acton. looks like Kiara Van Hoover Schwitzen. But it looks like she's going to get up and she'll be good to go. Referee looked like he was calling the AT on, but she'll get up and shake it off. Not quite sure how this turned into a Lincoln Memorial throw in, but. Oh, Leary ran the ball out of play. Ah. Good. Yep. I'm glad that you saw that because I thought it was still <laughs> in play when he blew the whistle. Although I'm not sure if it was the full ball that went out, but it got called. Yeah. Let's see. Jessica Carmichael will check in for the Bears. Kara Gavigan will take a rest. Starting to cool down a little bit here. This feels nice. Hey, Casey. Has been, she's played really well since she's come on. Mm -hmm. Like you said in the first half, she sort of got thrown on, wasn't expecting the injury, so she's, she's played well. No free kick to the Bears in a dangerous area, not quite as good as the um, free kick area in the first, in the first half, but still dangerous. Absolutely. Show you here on our Spangler restoration replay. Just manages to get up and over the wall yeah. and dips back down just before it reaches the keeper. Amazing technique on that one. Absolutely.
the Bears have come out so strong in the second half. And um, I don't really think Lincoln think Memorial have responded to it very well. It's taken them by surprise a bit. And um, I think they're just trying to get themselves back on the ball, trying to build a little bit of confidence again. Nev Dustin on the ball again. This is a very, very good result for the Bears before their um their game on Wednesday against Limestone. confidence boost that they needed. Definitely, especially before that big game versus Catawba. This this is huge for them. O'Leary, so much time and space. Abby Biddle will come in to that center mid position for uh, Emerson Talley. It's been such a strong display by the Bears today. Defended well, took their chances when they've come to them. It's Absolutely. Gary Higgins is going to be so pleased with oh his yeah. performance. You know, those have been a couple things that they have been stressing is, you know, switching the ball. Yeah. Switching it through our center mid, which I think they've done a great job of. N again, Nev Dustin has been so great in the middle, super aggressive attacking her space, getting rid of the ball when she needs to, and then putting the ball in the back of the net. Exactly. It sounds stupid, but it's, it's the most important thing. It it's, the, it's the only stat that matters. Right. <laughs> Technically, yeah. Great run down there by Kelly to cut off that pass there. Kelly's played well. I feel like the, the, style, of the, play, the, the style of play that the Bears play she won't see. She won't get the ball to her feet a lot of the time because it goes out to them wingers. It goes out to either O'Leary or uh, or Gavigan, and then she she's expecting the cross. But when she has got the ball to her feet, she's she's switched it out well. Oh yeah, she's got some great footwork, and again there by Nev Dustin, just powering through. Kelly able to find her back, and they'll get the switch out to O'Leary. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> what do you say, React and have a day? React and has played amazing in this second half. The silent assassin strikes again. Great ball there by O'Leary. Acton does a great job just sneaking through and you can see here on our Spangler Restoration replay. O'Leary, a great ball back to to act and acting able to take it to the touchline, almost dribbled it into the goal, yeah. and just I don't know how she snuck that between the post and Lattenstein. That well, was once she got past them defenders, she was always going to put it in the back of the net. She she couldn't have missed from there. No, that was that was great. This is this has turned into a great day to be a bear. There's a running riot. That just her second of the day. Third. That's her third. Right? Third, yeah. Yeah. Patrick. Yeah. Have a day, Rhea Acton. She played well all over the pitch. She made that, that brilliant t tackle, what, ten minutes ago? Yeah. Scored two goals. Uh, three goals, sorry. Two off free kicks, and then... Yep. As you just saw, she basically dribbled that one right into the net.
I think the intensity's gone al down a lot now from uh, Lincoln Memorial. I think they've got their heads down. They're. Um, <coughs> I don't think they've necessarily been in a hole. They have not been in a hole like this all season. No. I think they have two in conference, maybe three goals scored against in all of their conference games. I'm not exactly sure on that stat, but. But you can tell that they have no confidence now. It's, um, mm -mm. it's drained out of them. Whereas on, on the other hand, the Bears are full of confidence. Everyone, oh, yeah. Everyone wants to get on the score sheet now. Now they're four up. Nice easy save there for Grayson Cameron off the free kick. Didn't really seem like any of the rail splitters were even near the box. No. But just like you said, Jacob, this is the confidence booster that the Bears needed going into Wednesday's home match versus Catawba. Anton. Well, we still have 25 minutes, so I don't want to jinx anything. But to go up 4-0 on the number one team in the conference right now is stellar. It's a statement by the Bears. Oh, for sure. Bears won the spring version of the South Atlantic Conference Championship last year with a 1-0 overtime goal by Nev Dustin, so... They're here ready to reclaim, you know, what they think is theirs. I mean, for me at this point, I think it would be more impressive if the Bears, if they didn't score any more, but they kept a clean sheet. Um, Absolutely. Rather than they could score two more, but, but then concede one. I think it would be more impressive for them to just keep that clean sheet now. Show that they can do both. They're, they're good in defense. They're good in attack. Definitely. And they've done well on both sides of the ball all yeah. game. Cravera trying to make something happen. Ooh, Berg will knock that one away. Right back to Cravera, who will take a s wide strike. Flashes wide in the end. Yep. I think that's Proessel, who will check on, but check back on for Scarlett Kelly. You might as well take off some of them players now and um, switch a few out. Yeah. Save, save the legs. Definitely. It would be, it would take something very impressive now for the Bears to lose this game. Mm -hmm. But you never know. Soccer is a crazy game. Just takes one chance, one opportunity taken advantage of to put the wind back in your sail. And yeah. What makes it even more impressive is that it's the left back that scored the hat trick. Mm -hmm. I'm, pre she, I'm pretty sure she led the conference in goals last year. Well done there by Kate Casey. Great tackle. Get the ball back and get it out of out of your box. There's Abby Biddle. Finds O'Leary. Well done there by O'Leary. Finding Dustin in the middle. Dustin, just so commanding with the ball today. Things you love to see. Oh. Good cross. Would have loved to see Abby Biddle call yeah, it just Leone off there, and she would have had a clean strike. That's exactly what I thought, mm -hmm. yeah. That communication would have just been key, but maybe, yeah. maybe she wasn't confident enough to call. Right. Sometimes you can't get the words out fast enough. Yeah. Lincoln Memorial really losing some pep here. Just kind of walking around and letting the Bears just go.
Dustin with tons of time in the middle. Acting going back up there to, to try and help out. See what O'Leary can do. Oh. Carmichael with a little bit of a shove in the back there. She's going to get called for that. Rail splitters will get a free kick out of the box. All I'm saying is get an English player on the pitch, like rear acting and see what happens. She scores a hat trick. Are you being biased towards <laughs> English people? Where are you from? In England. Where am I from in England? Yes. Uh, a place called Lincolnshire. It's not many people have heard of it at all. I have Just not heard of it. Farmer's Fields is okay. all it is. No one knows where I'm from either, and I'm from the States. Oh, okay. Where's that? Only on to New York. Exactly. Well, I don't know anywhere in the in the States. That's fair. That's fair. Have you enjoyed your time in Hickory so far? Yeah, it's really... Uh, the, I mean, the biggest adjustment has been the the weather. Mm. So hot in comparison to, to England. That's the south for you. It's, um, uh, this is... This temperature now is probably like an English summer. That's nice. I, I, I could be okay with that. The humidity here is ridiculous. Yeah. Even from being from New York, like, we don't get humidity like that. And the mornings are cool, they heat up, and then it gets cool again. But the constant, like, 90 degrees all day is I just know. unbearable sometimes. All done there by Abby Biddle. And O'Leary. Oh. Great stop there. That was the right idea, though, from O'Leary. She just didn't quite pull it off. Absolutely, but great stop. I believe that's Emily Rodriguez for Lincoln Memorial. Just stopping that through ball. Another good tackle and stop by the rail splitters. Luis trying to see that one out of bounds, but wasn't rolling. Everyone's just playing with so much confidence for the Bears. Mm -hmm. Oh, great ball. Great pickup by Abby Biddle. Let's see what Carmichael can do on the far side. That's not a bad idea by Figueroa there. Just, you know, send it in the box, see what you can do. Yeah. See if you get an off bounce on the defender. But here comes Cravero. See if she can do something here for Lincoln Memorial. She'll get a soft strike. Trying to put something on net for the rail splitters. She had Palencia there with her, but she didn't, um, couldn't pick out the pass. Yeah, it was about like a 2v4. Yeah. yeah. Which is tough. But... It's nice to see them still trying to push forward and make something happen. That was a that was a poor mistake there. Yeah. By I'm not even going to attempt it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it's Van Hoover Schwitzen. I'll take your word for it. from the Netherlands. There's got quite a few players from the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. There in Switzerland? Yeah. Oh. That was great control. Mm -hmm. Good footwork there. Let's see if O'Leary can make something happen again. Oh. Ooh. Put it for her legs. Oh yeah, going for the Meg. We're going to stop the clock. I'm going to get a yellow. Are they going to call that outside the box? Kind of looked like it was right inside the 18, but still a very dangerous spot for the Bears. The thing that I find most interested in is Rhea Acton being a left back and having a right foot. Mm-hmm. But, gosh, is she dangerous.
But again, like you were saying earlier, she's a righty, and she can just curve curve that right yeah. around the wall. Oh yeah, I, I mean I th I'm I think she's gonna cross this one, but after her last two attempts, I wouldn't put it past her to mm -mm. to have a go. Mm -mm. Lattenstein sets her wall of three. Acting over the ball, Leary off to her right. Trent for the shot. Yep, low ball. Lattenstein in a good spot though, makes the clean save, and looks to go out the far side. Oh, what a beautiful ball! Rachel Taylor on the end of that, just a little too high. Go underneath it. Yeah, didn't time the volley quite enough. But that was a great look from the rail splitters. Yeah, it was it was quick. That's yeah. what they've been what they've been missing and just needed to turn them around turn them around quickly. Yeah. Quick counter and Got the men's team walking walking up behind the goal now. Oh yeah. And Lincoln Memorial will make a couple subs here. With just well as we approach sixteen minutes left to play. I don't know whose name we haven't said. Oh, I guess she probably just checked back in. Amanda McFarlane. We haven't said her name too much. No. Tonight. I mean, everyone's played so well. It's hard to to pick. Yeah. Particular people out because everyone's just played so well. It's it's just been that the Rhea's scored them free them free amazing yeah. goals. You can't really beat that. But Nev Dustin also has yeah. just been so instrumental in leading the the offense and defense in the middle and just being so strong and controlling there. And she'll draw a foul there. And 15 minutes is a long time to play possession. So I'm interested to see what the Bears start to do here. I think they'll just, they'll just carry on doing what they're doing. Yeah. They're... Yeah. They've not got too much risk in, in carrying on. No. No. I mean, if you can put four, five, six goals up on the number one team in the conference right now, undefeated, you're doing something right. Yeah, exactly. And you can tell you can tell they're low on confidence. Yes. So they're, they're not as dangerous as, as they normally are at mm -mm. the minute. No, nope, I don't think they've been in a losing situation yet this season. So it's new turf for them and... Be interesting to see how how Lincoln Memorial respond in the next game. Absolutely, they have a, a non-conference game versus Columbus State on Wednesday, so we'll see how they bounce back. And again, the Bears take on Catawba, who they are tied for third with in the conference right now. On Wednesday, I believe they will kick off at 7:30. The men will play first in a 5 p.m. matchup. <coughs> See what Acton can do here with this corner. And that was a good corner by the Bears. Absolutely. Great touch there by Mac to get it down, but I think Kate will just Casey will just see this one out of bounds. And what's great about putting Kate Casey in for Becker Peralta is the height. Right? She's got the same yeah. height. As as Vivian does, so being able to push her up and put her in the box. I think she might have a bloody nose, though. It looks like Referee's yeah. going to stop the clock. And Clash of heads, maybe. Yeah. And that's the second defender. I know. <laughs> I was just complimenting how she stepped in for Peralta so well. But I think that is Ina moliner Sarah who is going to come in for her. I know someone we haven't seen too much in the past few games. Started quite a bit at the beginning of the season and I believe she was out with an injury, so trying to get her feet back under her. She'll 
So Ben, third, third person in that position tonight. Doesn't quite have the same height. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. But I think that's why she'll push out wide. Or not out wide, but her and Luis will switch spots. Keep that height on the right side. Oh, great touch there by Biddle. That was a good tackle. Absolutely. Is that Megan Schneider? I think so, yeah. 27. Great battle there between her and Abby Biddle. Bears are just going to take their time here now. Well done by Rhea Acton. Oh. I don't know how she kept that on her foot all that way. It's too easy for her. I know. I, just, I don't understand. <laughs> Looks like we have a Lincoln Memorial player down. Again, that might be Megan Schneider. I think she just blocked the shot very... Yeah. It was it was point-blank range, really. Did she get hit in the stomach? I don't know. I think it might be a... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's a stomach, yeah. Took the wind out of her. Yeah, it's the worst. It's awful, yeah. Another corner for the Bears. And we've lost that height now. Yeah, not going to push Ina up in that. Well, they're going to push Ina up, but she's not going to be getting on the end of a header, most likely. Ooh. We almost ended up well. Oh, yeah. Gavigan almost able to poke it there between Lattenstein's legs, but she did a good job coming out and challenging. Ooh, rough tackle there by Dustin. Berg will look to push it up. Great step in there by Leonie Paresel. She'll take it inside. She's going to take it all the oh way. Yeah. Oh, what a stop by Lattenstein. That was a great stop, but also a great follow-up by Kara Gavigan yeah. looking to get the rebound, but I think they're going to call a foul. It was a good save by the keeper. It just needed to be a little bit... Either side of her. Mm -hmm. To the left of the keeper, but... Yeah. Those are always hard to judge, you know. Do you hold on and see if she gives you an angle, or do yeah. you pick a side and make her decide? It was well won in the in the opposition half. Definitely. And then once she had won it, she was always going to... She was always going to try and score herself at mm -hmm. a 4-0 up. As she should, right? She had oh tons yeah, of time yeah. and space, and... I think anyone would. Yes, for sure. Bears doing a good job working the ball up the sideline here. Not trying to force too much. You know, play back when you need to, but also look to continue to go forward. A little turnover there by Ina, but Dustin will pick that one up. Maybe. There you go. Good job there by Dustin to get out of pressure. I mean, other than that um, chance in the first half, the Lincoln Memorial, where they, they should have stuck it in the back of the net, I can't really think of any other major opportunities where they where they've really challenged um, the Bears. No, me either. Um, that's just that one opportunity. and 
especially in this second half, I don't think they've they've created a, a real goal scoring opportunity. I mean, they've had that shot that sort of fizzed past the post, but it was sort of made from nothing. Right. But that's all, that's credit to the Bears, to be honest. Yeah, they've they've closed them down well and they've stopped them from making chances. Yeah, not allowing them to keep possession and capitalize in that final third. Ooh. I like that from the referee playing on. Yeah, at this point. Yeah. There's no need to call. Just kind of ran into each other. Look over at the far sideline. A couple bears will wait to check into the game. Need some binoculars up here. Got four rail splitters. Waiting to check in as well. like Katie Perry will check in for Nev Dustin and I believe that is Anna Schuler will check in for Rhea Acton on the near side. Good clearance there by Mac. <coughs> Inside the last seven minutes now. And the Bears will just be happy to, to just keep possession and just see it out now. Absolutely. Get some of those new players, some touches. Yep. Confidence booster for the new players. Absolutely. This is the time where if you have players coming back from injuries, stuff like that, just shove them on. Give them a few minutes. Yeah. Just get, get them back in the flow of, of a real game. Exactly. Training training games never compare. No. Definitely not. No matter how much you try and replicate a real yeah. game, nothing beats it. Same with any sport. Mm -hmm. Practice will never ever come close to no. to competition. Bear is just I was going to say they're doing a good job of keeping possession, but <laughs> then they turned it over. Kind of a free-for-all right now. Just yeah. Balls bouncing all over the field. No one's really maintaining possession. Well won there, though. Yeah. Those wheels by Gavigan. A little bit too, moment too much momentum going forward. Couldn't get a good cross in, but it was still a good look. I think I know the answer, but who would be your player of the match? I was really happy with the way Nev played. Like, really, really happy. Yeah. Obviously, Rhea with the hat trick, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. But throughout the season so far, seeing from game one to now how much Nev has stepped up in that middle position and how well she played and orchestrated the middle of the field this game she's my player of the game yeah yeah she has played very well I mean it's been sort of overshadowed overshadowed by the three goals by Rhea yes but no doubt is Rhea your player of the game I think she's got to be yeah, yeah. I think she's got to be it could be but it's a for different reasons oh yeah I mean I also think O'Leary and um and Nev um and then also uh, on the other I mean there's, there's been so many good performances I think mean, Gavigan as well right uh, on the right and then Maddie Kyle had a good, a good um, first half. Yeah. Overall, just a really strong performance here by the Bears tonight. Yeah. We're under 4:30. We have a Lincoln Memorial corner. Oh, great punch by Grayson Cameron. I'm excited for this men's match too. Yeah, yeah. You can see the the yellow Bears men. Yep. Sort of booting up behind the goal. They kick off at, is it 7.30? Yep, 7.30. Yep. Uh, when we resume, or excuse me, when we finish here, they'll have about 30 minutes to warm up, and then they'll kick off. And They had a great win on Wednesday versus Coker, who's ranked number four in the nation. 
Yep. Um, at the time, so really big win there coming off that. Look forward to seeing them play here on their home turf. Good run there by Maddie Kyle. Just couldn't get a, on the other end of Gavigan's pass. <coughs> and even up 4-0, the Bears are still putting really good pressure on the rail splitters' defenders. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, that's good to see. 4-0 up sort of 88 minutes played and they're still pushing they're still pressing they're not letting up mm -mm. when I played club soccer growing up you know we would go up 4-0 on a team and my coach he was always like you know we want to keep possession but we don't want to keep possession in our defensive third we want to push it up we want to yep. keep uh, keep possession in our attacking third which is exactly what the Bears are doing not shying away from goal scoring opportunities Best form of defense is attacking that. Absolutely. Good battle there by Anna Schuler. And Lincoln Memorial will just knock this one away. Using the long throw again. Oh, yeah. We're under two. Wow. That that was a great throw. Yeah. A little bit of a flick, too. If it was any harder, it might have gone in the goal. We're under a minute here. And I believe that was off sides. Yep. Grace Cameron will take her time. Walk over, set the ball. Run down the clock. Yep. I think it's going to be a quiet bus journey home. Oh, yeah. Back to Harrogate, Tennessee. Yep. It's not a short ride either. It's the worst. I've got a cross country on 12 hours away on a coach. So Ooh. I have to have a good yeah. I have to have a good performance because that's a long time to sit It's a thing. very long time. Where are you guys going again? Um, Illinois. Illinois? Is it Illinois? Yeah. I think it might be. I think it could be, yeah. <coughs> Mm, off the crossbar. <laughs> Last shot. <laughs> and that'll do it here at Moret Sports Complex. Jacob. It was a great game by the Bears. Great 4-0 win. Hat trick by Rhea Acton. Another goal by Evan O'Leary. Probably the best I've seen the Bears play collectively so far this season. They moved the ball well. They switched the point of attack. You know, the game started a little bit slow. They pushed it up the right a little too much. But once they started to spread the ball out and get it on both sides they were able to find some more opportunities yeah yeah I mean it was, it was a very good performance by the Bears and like I said earlier I think I mean the four goals is um, is always a, a massive positive but to keep the clean sheet as well was um, was definitely like the icing on the cake absolutely especially against a really strong Lincoln Memorial team who's First in the conference, undefeated. They'll take their first loss of the season before heading into a non-conference game versus Columbus State on Wednesday. 
The Bears will be back home on Wednesday as well. 7.30 kickoff versus Catawba. Men will kick off at 5. Any final thoughts here? I mean, I think it'll be an interesting game on Wednesday after after today. The, the, the confidence will be sky high. So it should be an exciting game. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it should be a really exciting game. Always a good good uh, good game when it comes to uh, Catawba and, and the Bears. So... We look forward to seeing you back then. The men will kick off here in about 30 minutes. We hope you tune back in with us. I'm Danny Nicosia on behalf of Jacob, Park Jacob Parkinson. Thank you for tuning in to the Bear Sports Network presented by NBA Roofing. <laughs>